All right, y'all, so for today, I'm going to give you a rundown of our rainwater harvesting system plans. And it is all going to start with the roof. Okay, there's no way for me to really plan this out and to show you just with the camera, so I'm gonna have to go into sort of semi-graphics mode to be able to show you everything that we have planned. All right, so whenever you're looking at rainwater harvesting, you're always going to start with the highest point. Now, of course, I'm gonna be talking like I'm an expert in this, like I've done it before, and this is just all of the research that I've done over the last five years and just really working through Brad Lancaster's rainwater harvesting for dry lands. And so in that, what you need to start with is at the very top. Of course, for us, we have our forest, but that's still not even the top part of our property. It really starts with our roof. So our roof is a total of 38 by 48. And what that gives us is a total of 1824 square feet of roof catchment. So of course it's not a lot, but it is enough for us to be able to use it for our garden and then maybe someday we could use it for our household use. What you see in terms of these red lines are gonna be our gutters. Each of these gutters is gonna have another six inches so really we're going to have another extra foot so i guess this could be considered that this is going to be 48 feet long by 39 because it'll be six inches on each side all right so here is a front view of our house so what we're going to do is of course this is going to be a single seamless six inch gutter all the way across our 48 foot run from our front house. We're gonna have this same exact six inch, 48 foot seamless gutter on the back as well. Then what it's gonna have is from the downspout of this is gonna be a leaf guard right here that goes right up into the downspout of the gutter. There'll be one on the front and then one on the back. And the downspout will be on this side. And so if this is the leaf blocker, then it's gonna come down and there will be, this It's not gonna look exactly like this, but it will be sort of similar to this. What will happen first is all the water will come down to a first flush system, which will be hopefully down here, down to the ground. Now I need to figure this out and actually figure out if I can bring that all the way down because actually, now that I'm looking at it with this image, it won't come that low. So we might have to have the first flush up higher to where we might just run some extra piping here to where this first flush fills all that up and then we have some extra piping so that we can just put a bucket down here. But so actually that first flush will be much higher up. So my bad on doing that. But anyway, we're gonna have this first flush and when the water comes, all of the dirty stuff is gonna come from the roof, go into the gutter, and all everything is gonna go straight into this first flush, just to give us something extra to where we can keep our tanks a little bit more clean. Then what it'll do is this is gonna be four inch pipe, and then after that first flush is done, it's gonna flow in and go down this four inch pipe, and then it's gonna come all the way down here. And then it's gonna come down and it's gonna hit into our foundation, our rock foundation. And then I'll probably need to build up some earth here to where this pipe can sit on there. But what the pipe's gonna do, it's gonna go all the way underneath. On this image, it looks like it's gonna to go to the side of our house. But here I'll show you in a second. What it's actually gonna do is I'm gonna show you the skirting that we'll have. So whenever I put the skirting up, what you'll see is that pipe will be going underneath the house from the front. This is going to be called a wet system. So where the tank's gonna be in the back will be lower than what the inlet is. So water always is gonna find an even level. Wherever it comes out here in the back of this pipe where the tanks are gonna be, that will end up being water stored in there. 
and then somewhere in here we'll have to do a flush to we'll have a valve that releases all this in turn in times of freeze because we don't want this to freeze up so we'll want to empty the the entire system. Taking that skirting away, this pipe is gonna do is it'll have four inch pipe that goes down and then underneath the house and then it's gonna come back up where the tank is. Let me show you the tanks. So you can kind of see back here, this is where the tank is. It's gonna be back in the back. Now let me turn on some more layers that you can see everything and really see it. So you kind of see how the tank now looks. It's gonna be back in the back of the house and that's where we'll have one tank there and another tank behind there. So you see how that makes sense? So if I take this skirting off, that's how the piping is gonna be. And then back here in the back, this is where the tanks will end up being. Okay, now we're going to be going over the back part so you'll be able to see the tank and you'll be able to see uh, the drains of how they come to the tank. Please excuse every mess life of trying to get things done and going from a 2,000 square foot home into a little house. And hopefully whenever we get our guest house that we'll be able to put some more stuff over here. Let's first show you where the tank's gonna be. This is just for a visual so that you can see this. None of this is to scale or anything. So let's say this is going to be a 20. 500 gallon tank and hopefully just behind this we will have a second one so hopefully it will be able to be 5,000 gallons of course you see this blue that signifies for the gutter so taking that away and you can see the gutter there then what we're gonna have is the dry pipe so coming from this back gutter we don't have to go under anything. We can just go straight from the downspout of the gutter. Then we can go into the leaf blocker for the gutter and go straight, dry system, straight to this tank. So no water will ever be stored in this pipe. Then we'll have the wet pipe, the wet system that's gonna come from the front part of the house, just like this. And of course you'll see that what we'll have is it will come from underneath the house. So water will be filled into this system, probably, you know, to the very top of this. So once it, once the water overflows up to this, it's gonna overflow into the tank. Then if we have two tanks, that'll be back to back right here, then we will connect those two tanks together so that they all serve as one full system. And hopefully we will have 5,000 gallons of water storage. We might have to go with two 2,100 gallon tanks, just depends on cost and depends on if we can actually get them because that's the difference is two 2,100 gallon tanks is a fair amount cheaper than two 2,500 gallon tanks. Alrighty, I hope all of that makes sense. I'm gonna wrap this up because I need to get online and start buying some first flush systems, the diverter, all of these things, some pipe. I gotta get going. Hopefully next week we will be starting the process. It's gonna be a lot of work. <laughs>